then of course the PG Arc 78. Welcome back to Hobby Vault. My name is Skylar. Welcome to day one of Mobile Suit Mess. I am so excited to be doing 31 days of uploads. I also want to shout out Gundam Junkie here. He's a fellow builder. He's a fellow YouTube creator as well for Gunpla. And he creates so many cool videos. You guys should check him out. I will put all of his links down in the description, across the screen, wherever. Go check him out because if he's going to do 31 days of Gunpla, I mean, that's, that's, it, it's intimidating. We are going to quickly go over two suits that are coming out in spring of next year that I'm very excited about. This is for Beltortica's children and the anniversary. You know, Bandai has been doing lately is spend, we're not, we're not going hungry this year when it comes to Gunpla. The other thing I want to quickly go over is the bad boy that's going to be coming out this year, the PGRX78 Unleashed, and we are getting it this month. I have not, like I said, I have not pre-ordered it, but I'm sure a bunch of you guys have it or are pre-ordering it. I just wanted to give it a quick little shout out, everything we know about it before it actually comes out. And then of course the PG RX-78. You would think I would learn to stop doing that. I'm just lucky that this is a mega size and it's not actually gonna break. Oh, could you imagine? I could fix it. I've made so many videos on fixing it and I'm gonna make another one on how to fix the part that's broken on this one too. The PG RX-78 Unleashed is coming out this year in celebration of Gundam Factory Yokohama, which is the big giant RX-78 puppet. Let's get right into everything that we know about the RX-78 Unleashed with its badass promo video that I think is just so cool. And then what very little we know about the Nightingale and the high new Gundam from Belthor Chica's children. A lot of people think it's Char's counterattack, which it, it is. Uh, Bel Belthor Chica's children is basically a retelling of Char's counterattack, but these particular bad boys are being created directly from Bandai for that rather than Char's counterattack, so. Little FYI, if I got it wrong, I'm sure someone will let me know. <laughs> but let's get right into it. I'm so excited. Let's roll the footage. Now that Bandai has bullied us into getting yet another RX-78 model, it should be noted that the last time we got a PG RX-78 was about 18 years ago. So it was due for an upgrade and with the Yokohama big giant mech size of the RX-78, it makes sense why we got it. I'm not going to go over these details too much because this information's been out for a while. This website on Gundam Info does a really, really good job of summarizing everything for you. This bad boy should be out this month. If you pre-ordered it, you should be getting it soon. And it is anywhere from $260 to $290. Basically, the biggest thing and the biggest takeaway, because I really don't want to get copyright stricken for the promo video of it, I'm going to add bits and pieces of it, hopefully, Bandai doesn't do anything because, oh my goodness, anytime I do anything that has to do with their promo videos, flag down, flag down by Bandai, and then you can only see in Japan, but everyone's around the world. But the biggest thing is they have a technology in this called the Evolution Link System, which basically, in my opinion, is layering. <laughs> they just did layering and they made it more realistic and they gave us more pieces and more dimensions on our kits. And you know what? That's pretty cool because I really love the inner frame. You should be able to see the inner frame way better and its points of articulation are going to be insane. So it's definitely one that I'm excited for. I can probably wait to get it because PGs are a massive uh, responsibility. <laughs> so I can wait a little while until I get it, but when you guys get it, tag me on Instagram something, send me a message. I would love to see this thing not in a promotional light, like what it actually looks like, and I can't wait to see people build it. Like it, that's what I'm most excited for is seeing people actually build it. And what I really actually more so wanna talk about is what I found. So Bandai has a habit of creating clear parts, special P Bandai clear parts for PGs. And I'm pretty sure I have it right here. Whoa, it's bright. But what I really like about these clear parts is being able to see the mechanical inner workings of all the detailing they're gonna put into this kit here. But you know what? I, I think it kind of cheapens it. 
Like, I feel like what would be really cool is to keep the main, like, actual armor pieces, like, on the shoulder and stuff like that, and strategically place the clear parts. I think that would be cool, but I'm not so sure that I'm digging this all clear kit. I don't know. I think the shield looks really cool with it. And I don't know. I will also link the article. It came out today, I think. Actually, yeah. But yeah, that's kind of all I really wanted to talk about it. I'm excited to see it. I can't wait to see it. I wanted to shed light on it today because it's December 1st and it should be coming out this month. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's super exciting to see it getting some technology that could be really cool on some other PGs we want to see. I just wish it wasn't 78. I understand why it's 78, but I just wish that we got a couple like better suits. If you could see a PG come out like now with this technology, which one would it be? I want to know that one because there's some cool suits out there. Let's move on. So yes, now that we've gone over the 78 Unleashed, which you notice that they've been using names to make you like super excited. Like how excited can you actually get over plastic model kits? I mean, I'm not really the best person to ask that, but they have to make it like cinematic and cool looking like, ooh, Unleashed. All these special buzzword keywords. But yes, anyways, I'm super excited for it. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting it, but if the opportunity presents itself, I may possibly get one. But now let's look at Nightingale. Let's roll the footage of what we know about it. Now, we don't know a lot about this Nightingale that's coming out other than that it has very few iterations of it that even exist. The biggest one that I think is most important is the RE1100 that I'm about to show you here. But it's kind of disappointing that we didn't get the actual MG in this mobile suit. It's one of the more iconic designs of Char and it's really neat in the resin casting. It was revealed at the Tokyo Expo this year and it looks really cool and I look forward to learning a little bit more about it and its sister kit which is going to be the real grade high new. So these are just some images that I wanted to show you just really really quick and I just I'm super excited for it and I can't wait. This is the RE100 that came out in 2014, I think. It's awesome. Now, she's a, she's a part and she actually got broken because my cat jumped in the box when I was transporting it down here to paint it. Um, so I am actually going to show you guys how to fix that. Yes, yeah, so Nightingale here is chunky, chunky, awesome suit. I am very disappointed that it got broken, um, but I'm not surprised. Super simplistic build, nothing too crazy, straightforward. It really, really could do with some good scribing. Um, I, just, uh, I don't know. I just think it's so cute the way it is. Maybe I'll scribe it. Do you think I should scribe this? Oh yes, okay. So, let me show you something. Right here, there's this little, let me make sure, yeah. This little piece right here, this little, Ross piece right there. It broke off on the actual thruster here, and I am going to definitely make a video showing you how to fix something like this because I think this is going to require me to take this out, which is going to be a pain in the butt, but we are going to do that. Oh, no, that sucks so bad. Anyway, super simplistic build. I did like this build. I really like the way it looks when it's finished, but I need to fix it. <laughs> I need to fix it before I put it back together again. But yes, anyways, I'm super excited for this one and I'm gonna show you what I think is probably the coolest high new variant. Like, it's it's cool. It's awesome. Um, this one is not built because I have built one before for a friend, but I need to build one again for myself so I actually have it. So this one's unbuilt, but it's really cool. I'll show you pictures of it. So, when it comes to what we know about the real grade high new, it's about just as little as we know about the Nightingale. I wish I could give you guys more information, but I do have the resin casting and I have the images here. It looks really, really nice. And I look forward to putting it next to my MG. Again, if you guys wanna see my MG actually built, uh, let me know because it's pretty awesome. High new, super awesome. We're not gonna do anything too terribly crazy. Look at this awesome base that it does come with. It has these really cool metallic pieces as well. This kit's worth getting. If you guys wanna see this more in depth, 
I probably, I should definitely make one of these videos so that you can see all the funnels. It's really cool. Um, one of my favorite parts about it are the actual lightning elements for the funnels. Like it's see-through, clear, and you actually, oh, hopefully you can see. Yeah, the actual lightning on it, it's very, very cool. But yeah, so we really don't know too much about it, but it's pretty exciting. So let me know if you guys wanna see a better unboxing of this because I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty, really want to build it but I have so many kits that are not finished yet that I have to finish them before I actually do this kit it's something that I have to <laughs> it's something I have to get better about I have so many cool kits but I need to finish the ones that I have started mm. oh do you guys want to see strike rogue strike rogue is almost done strike rogue might be coming up soon but yes this guy is gonna get built soon too but yes oh i love i love these suits so much amaro and char like i love these suits i love these suits they're amazing i really like the re1 the re1 100 i'm a little disappointed that this is going to be an hg kit that kind of makes me sad but it would have been nice to have seen this one get an update but you know what in the future maybe he's a chunky boy he's a big boy he's cute and this right here is one of my favorite. This is my favorite high new, I think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was like a really quick video. It's kind of old news, but it's things that I'm super excited about. So yeah, let's just leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the next video. Thank you for all of the ideas and things that you want to see. It's very, very helpful. I have all the video ideas and alternate ideas. It's not that that I'm worried about for 31 days. It's the execution of making sure every video gets done. There are things that I would like to do that I know are just gonna take like days and days to film because I'm just not one of those people that can go, oh, hey, I wanna really paint this kit and then get it done in one day and then show it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I put a little, I put a lot of time into things maybe I shouldn't, but it shows, it shows. I like Gunpla Rave. I do need to put more kits in here. I have a bunch of kits that I want to put in here, but I'm kind of digging the spotlight. <laughs> These are some of my favorite kits that I built. So what kind of kits are you guys excited for? Or what ones are on the horizon? What ones are you still missing? I'm looking at you, MG Kshatriya. Oh wait, you can't see it. Looking at you, MG Kshatriya. Like, come on, please, please. I would love. I would love to see this kit in an MG. I just don't understand why. I, I do. This HG is barely holding its funnels and wings, so I would imagine if we did an MG of this, it would just be insane, but.